A putrid problem getting cleaned up in New Jersey. Yesterday, we showed you millions of fish had suddenly died near the Raritan Bay. This week, leaving a foul-smelling mess. CBS 2's Brian Conybeare shows us what's being done about it. Millions of dead fish being vacuumed out of the water by giant suction trucks usually used for cleaning sewers. And that's not good for Jeff Lentz's marina business in Hazlitt, New Jersey. Boaters don't want to come down because they can't stand the stench. But this is actually a huge improvement over Tuesday when Chopper 2 was overhead showing the scope of the massive fish die off just off Raritan Bay. It looked like it was covered with solid gravel. It couldn't see water. Experts say the three to four inch peanut bunker were likely chased into a tidal creek by large. Larger, hungry bluefish, but the warm, shallow water doesn't have enough oxygen, and they all suffocated. After the remains are vacuumed up, a front end loader puts them in a dump truck headed for the Monmouth County landfill. Folks, be thankful you cannot smell through your TV. These fish may be very small, but they put up a very big stink. That is disgusting. This is just like wrench. It's not even like a smell. I call it wrench. <laughs> The only other thing worse than that would be septic tank. New Jersey baykeeper Debbie Mann says the abundant bunker is actually a good sign for Raritan Bay's health. Whale sightings, dolphin sightings, because they're coming in to feed on all these peanut bunkers. But pollution and stormwater runoff can reduce oxygen levels, causing occasional fish die offs. What's so unusual about this event is the size and scope. It's millions and millions of fish, and we've just never seen anything like that in recent memory. One slight silver lining an unexpected feast for the seagulls. In Hazlitt, New Jersey, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News.